Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Outer Wilds. I think the odds of our getting us getting back to our ship are non-existent at this point. Like, it, they're they're impossible. Now we could go over there. We've been over there though. And then we made the one-way trip over here because we can't go back down there. Wait, can we? Oh yeah, we can. So this is how you were supposed to get through these. But now, what about this? What, what about getting through here? Hmm. Looks like it's just a problem right there. So we can see these areas. And what happens if I do this? Nope can't get outside the building, I don't think. It doesn't matter. There are other ways to get through there. But these buildings are a little disappointing. So, uh, so there's a settlement underneath this glacier, which is fine. It's, it's all okay. Oh, I ended up on the the walkway again. Not what I was going for, but it's cool that that can happen. Huh. Okay, yeah, that's where I wanted to be. Neat. Now, is this the place that had the school at the top? It is. And then a part of the wall just, or part of the ceiling just fell through us. So that's cool. And so then, yeah, there's that. And then that's the, there's obviously a second floor to this. How do I do that? Nope. Well, nice. We gotta be getting pretty close to the sun blowing itself up anyway. I mean, it would really help. I'm gonna fly right past the sun, are you kidding me? Can't believe I missed the sun. I missed the sun! Did you get a trophy for called cutting it close? I don't know for what, but <laughs> like I don't know if it's for floating in space using your oxygen as a propellant, 
or <laughs> like if it's for barely missing the sun I don't so next on our list is the sunless city unless we want to try to get to the second level of, of this hanging city but I think we explored a good amount of that I mean we matched up to where I was in that when the place went supernova while I was under the Brittle Hollow. <sighs> but we'll check our log. See if it says there's still more Brittle Hollow stuff to explore. I mean, I didn't see a ship log update through any of that, so... Oh yeah, old settlement, the vessel. Oh, interesting, the murals have entries and stuff? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, the vessel crashed somewhere in the Dark Bramble, right. One of few Nomad Escape Pods ever made it out of Dark Bramble. Right. A mural of Dark Bramble ensnaring the Nomad Vessel. A mural of the Nomad Vessel encountering a signal. A mural of three Escape Pods evacuating the Nomad Vessel. Okay. The Nomad constructed a temporary resettlement at least they're crashed. Okay. No, 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 no. I wanted that entry. And then the anglerfish fossil, this is all connected somehow. It's very crazy. Very crazy. What is this? There's more to explore here. In the interloper? Fine, let's go check out the dumb interloper. My least favorite thing in the solar system. It's probably not my least favorite thing in the solar system, but oh man, is it close. Okay, where is it? That's the problem. Okay. The dumb's all the dumb things all over the place, but I don't want to be anywhere near it. There's that thing again that has nothing to do with anything. The thing that just disappears. I can just send a signal right through it. So where's this interloper? I mean, it's a comet. I'm going to be able to see it. I mean, it should be in the plane of everything else, shouldn't it? I mean, logically. If you're looking at the solar system sideways, all these things are in the same plane. There's my interloper. Coming right at us. <laughs> nice.
Okay, that's pretty much where I want to be. Okay, I don't want to be in the tail. I landed right next to this dumb crevice. What are you flying into? Oh my. Okay, well, it's good to know that you fly. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Need to get back on your surface now. I don't care about that at all. Really? this before can't believe I just flew through the 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 corona of the Sun in my spacesuit unlikely I say unlikely how did I find this perfectly the first time I ever came looking for it and now I can't find it at all Didn't want to do that. Okay, well we're getting we're getting better at We're getting better at navigating things. I guess. But I don't know why I can't find the, the way into this dumb comet. It wasn't behind the tail. Was it? I don't remember. going into the ice fields, why would I do that? If I get behind it, I'm thinking I freeze to death, I think. But it flies through the corona of the sun really early in the cycle, that's kind of crazy. Would like to get inside before it decides to do that again. Where's my ship? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's a thing. Is it floating around the sun? Fine. It got pulled off when I got pulled off, and I got back down, and it didn't. Great. Well, cool. We might as well go check out what's on this side and see if it kills us. I think it does, doesn't it? Doesn't the tail of the comet kill us? It 
It doesn't, I guess. Interesting. Look at what I found! This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to immerse, submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, someone couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary, if you don't mind waiting here with it. Poke and I will continue to investigate the surface. Okay. So we did invest we did update the ship's log there. Somebody made the mistake of landing on the dark side of a comet. Which is a better thing to do than I did. Which is uh, let your ship get pulled off the comet completely. Because you were too busy looking at the sun because you thought it was pretty. Now, that being said, this would be super cool, by the way, to just be like walking around on the surface of a comet. Um, the third book in the 2001 series is about that, is about people like checking out Haley's Comet when stuff goes on. Okay, so I found, like, a ship's log. And you can skate on this comet, which is kind of neat that they thought about that. The idea that there's, like, no friction. I mean, it's just throwing me everywhere. <whistles> 60 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. Well, that's fine. I mean, it's not fine. We're going to die. But, uh, okay. Who wants to bet I find the opening into the interior of this comet right before I die? Are we headed towards this one anyway? No, not really. We're kind of hanging out. You realize how uh, either how big the sun would have to be or how small the solar system has to be for that sun to appear that big from every planet. I mean, it's crazy. Have you ever seen a, like the pictures of like the sun from other planets and stuff? I mean, like sure it's bigger from, you know, the, the four inner planets or whatever, it's fine, but you get out to like Jupiter and Saturn and stuff and it it doesn't look like our sun. So there we go. We died from lack of oxygen on a comet. We couldn't find the opening to, but we did discover interesting stuff. So the ship's log was updated, and when we start this over, we will have an updated ship's log, and we will know more about things. I mean, we know tons more about stuff now, but we're still not getting a lot of help, but I haven't tried to get to the Sunless City, and that is directly connected to the Sun Station, and I think the Sun Station will give us a lot of information. I think... I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to get to the sun station. Like, we came actually really close to it when the comet went through the sun's corona. So, uh, when we come back, more of this. Bye, everybody.